Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm Joseph Riggs. I uh, go to Clemson. I'm a freshman chemical engineering major, and I'm talk coming to talk about my new student dialogue um, that I had for uh, CU 1000, and um, I had it on racial discrimination. So it was called "Is It Only Skin Deep?" Um, and went in there, and it was pretty. It was pretty good. We actually uh, we had. Two little segments. Uh, one was a full group discussion, and one were, was uh, a segment where we broke off into pairs and we talked um, one on one about certain uh, disadvantages in our life and things like that. So, um, as far as the group goes, uh, it was. I feel like we had a good discussion. I feel like uh, not as many people talked as they could have. Uh, there were maybe about five or six people who kept moving the conversation along so we really didn't get all the opinions in that really I feel like would create a true dialogue so no we didn't achieve a true dialogue but uh, there are definitely different opinions thrown around so even though the same five six people were talking that doesn't mean that uh, they all had the same opinions they were they were the ones who I feel like argued the different sides uh, so Things other people would have chimed in may have been personal experiences, which would have uh, held, helped the discussion along. So that's why I'm saying we really didn't achieve true dialogue. But I feel like the main topics were covered, and so that was good. Uh, I personally, I spoke up uh, when I really disagreed on a subject. I don't think, personally, uh, looking back on it, I, I uh, stimulated the conversation uh, as much as I guess I really could have. But... Uh, I spoke up when that there was definitely a uh, controversy in the room, and uh, I think it was a great thing about the new student dialogue was that because everybody's a freshman, because everybody's still getting acclimated um, to Clemson or just first getting acclimated to Clemson, uh, you you really feel less pressure when you're talking. And if you have an opinion, you can just shout it out there, and you don't have to worry about uh, somebody um, really j judging your opinion. Um, uh, critically uh, or negatively um, and so you don't you're able to express your viewpoint and so that that really goes towards helping uh, to achieve true dialogue and so I, I feel like overall um, we had some active voices but they're definitely or more quiet people in the group too um, and so but as a whole I feel like we definitely achieved a better discussion than we did in as groups as pairs um and so i feel like that group discussion may be a more vital aspect of this new student dialogue c1000 and so as we broke off into groups and pairs we had to talk about our uh, disadvantages some disadvantages that we had in our personal life and for me uh, that would be contacts and glasses i actually wear contacts and i'm wearing them right now and um that's really a disadvantage for me in certain situations. It definitely was, um, you know, when I uh, may be really tired sometime, like sleeping in the car, and it's not a big deal, but just, I can't take a nap in the car. My eyes will dry out real bad. And um, wear my glasses, I have to take my contacts in and out each night. And so, you know, camping and stuff like that, that really, uh, that's really a lot more difficult for me. And so uh, that's, that's a di different disadvantage. Uh, but. Um, compared to some of the other students, though, they had some more disadvantages. They were a little more serious. Like I had, I heard one guy talk about how he had a disadvantage that he couldn't even walk out of his house really because he was scared of the streets. Uh, he was scared of what people would do to him, was scared of what people would say to him. And I feel like com in comparison, that was just not um, that has that doesn't even have the same gravitational. Uh, uh, I'd say um, really the same. Uh, I guess value um, that as as my as mine would you know his is a little more serious and so um, that was it was it was kind of curious to hear certain people share their their own disadvantages uh, I, I there, it wasn't really a discussion though I mean, put throw that out there really just people giving their own opinions and that's always good it's good to hear the other side of the story I mean you, you know. Certain, I'm, I'm from the South. I'm a Southern boy, and so we talked. You know, we talked about North and South, and certain discriminations that you hear in, here um, in Charleston, and certain discriminations you hear up there in the North. And you know, I've always grown around like Yankees, those kind of terms and things like that. And so, I've really been 
I had that one viewpoint, that one mindset, and so you know, to hear other people's voices and opinions really stimulated a new thought process of how people really feel and how things actually affect people. And some discriminations you hear against race, uh, that's just sometimes you shrug that off of your shoulder and you say, no, that really didn't happen. That I was way back then, but it's real. You know, these guys like the guy who's scared, on, uh, um, scared to go on a screen. That was because of a racial. Um, that was a racial reason um and to say and so um it, it's real it's out there and it brought me aware of that which was pretty crazy uh but uh overall me and my partner really didn't have much to talk about we really were on the same page with disadvantages nothing we found was too serious to really get into a discrimination problem uh so i feel like i guess personally it wasn't effective i mean i don't i guess for other people it may it may have been so as a, but that's why I'm saying is that I feel like the discussion, the group discussion was really what stimulated this new student dialogue. And so I do think Clemson is a useful tool for this U1000. You, you, you come in there and it helps you get accustomed to talking in front of a group of people. Um, and I know a lot of things do that, a lot of projects do that, but this is another thing to add to the um, – out to your spectrum of uh, experience. And so you come in there and it helps you branch out and get, get you, I guess, prepared for – uh, for really those projects down the road at Clemson, and I'm um, talking to your peers. You meet, you know, you meet people too, and so that's great. You, you get maybe break down some barriers you had about being nervous about meeting people. Maybe that's a way to get in there and um, really introduce yourself to other people if you haven't yet, or if you're still trying to meet more and more people. I mean, which is never a bad thing. And so I, that was good, and I just feel like I feel. Uh, Maybe if it wasn't, I don't know. Maybe, I, I think it, I think it depends on just. I feel like we could, if there were was a little more time for people to meet each other beforehand, uh, that would have helped. Just because they would have known each other, and people wouldn't have been kind of like feeling like they were surrounded by strangers, and so it was weirder to talk about. It was definitely easier to talk to people you know. So that might have been something that uh, kind of. Uh, dulled the conversation just a little bit but uh, overall it was a good group discussion and um uh the new student dialogue was an interesting interesting uh experience that um i had coming into clemson so that's what that was my experience and so it was definitely an interesting one and um learned some some good stuff and look forward to my journey at clemson